hi welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about my job basically I have had a lot of DMs and questions in regards to my job and I'm just going to answer a few of them so hopefully um, to those who have asked me about my job it helps so okay so I've gone back through my day in my life as a living carer and I've just got a few questions that I can uh, that I've been asked to talk more about and that's what I'm going to do so do I still work as a living carer I do but I don't so I've not done a placement for a couple of weeks now about, about a month um, but I am in the process of training to work in a care home nearby which is actually really really good because it's half an hour walk which means I get to see more of my hometown now ignore my bed hair by the way like it's currently quarter to three in the afternoon and I'm just baggy clothes and everything so yeah I do sort of work as a living carer and, and I don't it is really really good pay um, they pay sort of like between so it does depend on the client you are with so sometimes you get a range of well it can range from like 500 pounds to like a grand a grand and a half that does depend who like what company you're with and what that person's needs are most of my clients that I were going to that I was going to minimum pay of 700 pounds a week which is absolutely amazing um it is the company I've like been working for it is self-employed so I would have had to do my own taxes at the end of the tax year so do bear in that in mind if it is self-employed you are going to get you know an amazing pay each week but you will have to do tax at the end of the, the tax year so do keep that in mind going for going to like care homes so that can range any between any anywhere between eight pounds something to maybe 11 12 pounds an hour you may get more <coughs> if you go to like private care homes I'm not too sure I never actually worked in a private private care home um but yeah so pay 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 rise pay rate is completely different wherever you go agencies through a company etc etc living care just working in care homes and stuff so pay it's a job where it's so hard and so demanding and rewarding at the same time but you're so underpaid and that's the only thing about being a carer it is so underpaid and I think anyone who's who's, who's carer will be able to agree with what have I learned along the way so I have learned a lot about myself as a person I have learned that I'm very passionate about caring for others I have a side where it's really really it's just this sweet person that she genuinely cares about other people and before I became a carer I, you know just didn't you know not that I not that I didn't care for anyone you know you just don't realize uh, but you know you do learn a lot about yourself as a person you find who you are but you also do find out a lot about other people so you also do find out those that are in the job for the money and those that are, job are in the job because they actually like their job um, you know you learn a lot of new skills that you generally you know just didn't know before becoming a carer you learn a lot of um, you know like the insights and what it's like to be dealing with someone with dementia and just like other sort of like mental health issues and uh, disabilities and just so much more like care isn't just about people with dementia it's a whole range of things there I could list so many um you know but uh, I'll be here forever um so yeah working with an agency there are good and bad things so most agencies will contract you with zero hours so that is the same thing about agencies you're not exactly contracted a certain amount of hours um, and they pay a lot less than working for a company 
Um, anything with agencies you can work when you want basically so you can fit you, you know if you're flexible and you're open to sort of like working x amount of days weeks or whatever you know hours or whatever they're fine with that um but a lot of agencies that i have worked for are zero hour contract which works well for me um to a certain extent mm, you know even though agencies they do have a lot of work i found out that you know if you work for a company you can have a stabled contract whereas working with a agency no yeah sorry if you work with a company I'm pretty sure i said i don't know i see i'm losing myself right now um but yeah if you work for a company you're more on a like a stable contract whereas working for an agency you're zero out contract um so don't expect to be working the hours that you that you'd want uh, yeah just like you know prefer, prefer me preferably you know blah, 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 i cannot talk today me i prefer to be working with a company because you know i got contract hours which is where i'll be basically working anyway next um with a company my hair is just going on a weird one today ah uh but yeah um what to expect going in between clients okay so every client is different don't expect to go to different clients expecting them to be the same because let's say Beatrice down the road she has dementia but it's mild you know it's not advanced as I don't know Derek down the road who you know is very advanced with dementia um you know so yeah so don't expect everyone to be the same because no one's the same especially being Kara, you'll find so much you'll find out so much and you know so it does depend on what that client needs i would say reading about that client sounds a lot worse and a lot more harder than actually going to the client um you know and there's been clients where i've read you know i don't know let's say they're constantly like up most of the night and you know they're a little bit difficult but i go there and actually so sweet and always approach with a positive attitude they like positive people no matter you know no matter if they are you know difficult or whatever you've got to try and be positive and you've got to be very confident as well they like to be spoken to you know think about how you'd want to be spoken to you know sweet something like that you know don't go in like oh my god i'm going to do this la -da -da. ask them always ask them no matter how difficult your client is no matter how much they refuse no matter no matter how you know no matter what the situation is always ask and you know there'll be times where you know you'll be working with someone and then you'll have to think about their best interest kind of thing um but you know hardly i've never really had an issue where you know i've not been able to do someone's personal care or not been able to give someone their medication because you know just how i approach them you know give them a you know respect them give them you know time to answer someone with dementia you know if you're asking them questions don't give them so many different answers because they they're not going to understand they're not going to remember every single one so give them you know so if you're asking them a question just give them a yes or no or you know a different about like two or three different things and let them have a little time to process remember with dementia it kind of you know sends the message to the brain yeah <laughs> um just give them time to you know figure out <laughs> not figure out but you know find, you know think about it um but yeah sometimes you know i've gone to clients where they've not been able to vocalize you know vocalize you know they've not been able to speak to me so they've had other little like devices to interact or you know they'll have like little cards so you know and you'll get all that in their care plan anyway and, um, 
11 minutes already jesus you see i could talk about so much you know a lot about my job i absolutely love it um but yeah i have been asked to do more vlogs about it which i will once i've kind of like done my training and once i've settled into this new care home i i will do more, more about care work um which we said pay wise yeah as, as i've covered so that does depend on who you who what company you're with who your client is and how much they've you know they pay um you know I, i'll give you an example um let's go on to my profile and i'll click on placements so oh, let's go placements so yeah so as you can see let okay that's not going to oh yeah see so 700 pounds a week and that will just sort of like range um 700 700 700 750 um 700 you might find out that you know someone with very little care needs will pay more i've like experienced that i've gone to someone who you know requires very little care they just want that companionship and that's what you're there to provide um you know and they'll end up paying i don't know that's about 800 pounds a week um, but don't expect that for every single client every single client is different um, you know there are so with the with this particular company um that i was working for with living care my my min my minimum weekly rate is 700 pounds which is really good but when i started it was sort of like 560 to 600 so you know it, it has gone up quite a fair bit um let me get back onto the questions um so yeah so ev everyone's different food allowance so again it does depend on the client most of the clients they'll give you sort of like 30 pounds a week to put towards your food so 30 pounds is a decent amount if you go somewhere like Lidl's or Aldi's you know you can get a weekly shop for 30 pounds a week but yeah they'll either give you the money or well their family will give you the money or unless they are able to you know take care of their financial stuff they will give you the money themselves or the company will reimburse it um if you send them like receipts and then they'll never reimburse it on your wages so yeah or they'll have family that be like oh you know tell me what you'd like and we can buy it for you and sometimes a lot of families will be like oh yeah you can put more than 30 pounds but again that does depend on the company it does depend on the clients because i've had other, another company where they pay 40 pounds a week to put towards your food um sometimes you know whatever you know, uh, the family will say you know whatever's there help yourself to it just the kind of thing there's been a family where she would do a weekly shop and you'll have so much food and it's like oh, how am i going to eat all this um traveling okay so i have worked with a company that pays for your travel um or if you paid for your travel yourself and they will reimburse it for you at the end of the month or the week whatever whenever your wages are um they'll add that on basically so yeah so they'll either pay for your travel or they will reimburse it for you so yeah um bloody hell F almost 16 minutes uh but yeah i have absolutely loved my job as a carer i've learned so much and i can't vouch how good it makes me feel as a person it's such a great job you know it's i've been doing it since 18 it was a random job apply for a care agency 
and hi I've loved it ever since almost seven years later so it'll be seven years in May coming up I, I absolutely love it I have met so many nice people along the way you know also as well not every member every staff member you work with is your friend remember that they're there to do their job you know care work is a job where you don't make friends much but if you do it's great you know i've made i've got a really good like guy friend that i've worked with i've got a guy girly friend that i've worked with i've met so many people um there's probably a lot of other things that i could sit down and chat about but i'll be here for about a good hour trying to talk you know to speak about my job so uh yeah i can't do that <laughs> um i'm pretty sure that's covered most of it um i've been carrying a bunch of things from people i can relate to yeah so so yeah obviously these particular questions are from someone from the comment section cal w yeah being a carer has been absolutely fantastic i i love the job I don't think that there's a job that I would prefer to do but I am training to be sort of like an animal care person but I know that care work will kind of like draw me back I love it if if we got paid more as a person you know for doing our job I would stay here but sometimes you know seven years later almost seven years later I kind of want to choose something else just for a little bit you know but yeah those um questions if you do have anything else feel free to comment down below i'm more than happy to answer anything i'm pretty honest and quite open about like my job and just you know anything at the moment but i've always been quite open and honest <laughs> but yeah i am going to end this here because it's oh blimey almost 19 minutes okay right uh but yeah i need to uh eat my lunch i got my lunch my cup of tea there and i got my hair so yeah i'm going to edit here now guys so if you have watched until the end thank you very very much and also thank you so much for the love on my day in my life as a living carer like it's almost up to 2000 views now and i cannot believe it like, i generally cannot believe it also don't mind me my nails are absolutely fucking horrid like I need to get them in for, but I can't because of my job so yeah for now I'm going to say goodbye and I hope that you guys have, have a wonderful day week month year wherever you guys are um stay safe and <laughs> don't forget um but yeah for now adios